Welcome to the Engine Noise Podcast, car news and coffee brought to you by 1AAuto.com. Quality auto parts and thousands of how-to videos that walk you through your install. Engine Noise Podcast drops on the 1st and 15th of every month with a little car news and coffee in between. Jeremy. Yeah. I'm ready to talk about some cars and some news stories that have to do with cars. Well, before we talk about that. Yeah. We have some big engine noise announcements. What's that? Actually, just one, really. Oh. We are starting to film this podcast. What? Maybe our listeners are watching us right now. What? Yeah. And if you're listening, thank you. Thanks. If you're interested in seeing what we look like, you can now watch us on YouTube. Might be a mistake, but go for it. Yeah. Maybe you listen to us in the morning, and then you watch us in the evening, the same episode. Who knows? Sure, I guess. It's kind of creepy, but hey, if you're into that. It's really creepy. So, uh, you want to talk about some cars? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do headline one. Dodge investigating video showing a pair of Dodge Demons exploding on the drag strip. Hmm. Yeah, pretty legit, right? Yeah, I need details. What exploded? The, the engine? Differ- no, the rear oh. differentials. Oh. You said no, like that was so out of the <sighs> ordinary. ridiculous. So I did a little researching this, and here's what happened. Yeah. Somebody got together like 50 Dodge Demons. Now, these things make like a ton of horsepower, supercharged, super fast. They run nine second quarter miles. Mm-hmm. They got together like 50 of them, or right around that number, all at one drag strip. And they're all trying to beat this record that basically Dodge claims that you can do in a drag racer. Okay. Like, you take this car to the drag strip, they say you can run 9 point whatever seconds at 100 and something miles an hour. Mm-hmm. So these 50 people who bought this car are all there trying to beat this record. Yeah. Sadly, a couple of them exploded their differentials on the track. Mm. So now the question is, is the track too sticky? And therefore, the tires, they're grabbing too much, and it's just too much power, too much know. traction, something has to give. I think it's just give. because you're revving this thing. You're trying to break it. Yeah, you're basically trying to explode the differential, and surprise, the differential explodes, right? Yeah, it's weird. Cadillac Cateras did this in, like, 1999 or something, or 2000, and they had, mm. like, I don't know, 150 horsepower, 200 horsepower, something like that. Yeah, it's a little less than this thing. So now you're making 840, you got a supercharger, you got launch control, you got big slicks in the back, and you got a sticky racetrack. Stuff's going to break. Yeah, it's not good. Basically, the deal is Dodge has now slow motion video of these things nuking themselves all over the racetrack, and they're trying to figure out whose fault it is. Mm -hmm. Do they need to upgrade the car? Do they need to put some sort of rear differential stiffener in there so it doesn't bounce up and down when they're launching the car at the drag strip? Or do you blame the drag strip for preparing their track too good? Oh, is yeah. that possible? I don't know about that, Jeremy. Like, oh, your track is too sticky. Your tires are too great. Yeah. It's not our fault our car exploded. This whole thing doesn't even sound that fun, to tell you yeah. the truth. It's all the same vehicle. Like, you're trying to do the same exact thing. Yeah, people are, car people are weird, though. Mm. Like, there's Mustang events, and they're all Mustangs. Yeah. There's DSM events, which are like all Mitsubishi Eclipses, Eagle Talons, Plymouth Lasers, mm. called the DSM Shootout, for those of you who are in the Mitsubishi world. Ooh. There's Corvette events. Yeah. Car people do this. This is like a thing. I guess we'll see what happens. These are all, they're all independent rear suspension cars. Mm-hmm. So the rear wheels go up and down independently. Duh. An <laughs> easy fix for this would be throw a Ford 9-inch rear end in it and boom, problem solved. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. Or, you know, you stick with Dodge parts or maybe you blow it up, maybe you don't. Or maybe uh, you just drive it like a human. Maybe you just don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't drive it like a maniac. Yeah. Can we see the video? Yeah, we can see the video. I'm going to look the video up right now. It's on the YouTubes, and it's slow motion, so it's pretty sweet. You can see, like, the front wheels of the car start to come up, and then the rear differential just, like, bleh, just, Mm. like, pukes all of its parts on the track. And then you see, like, dripping. Watching it right now. Oh. Yep, watch. Keep going. There it is. Oh. Yeah, that's the differential. Wow. Yep. I once saw a Toyota Supra do that with its transmission. It was awesome. Yeah, that's not good at all. Yeah, it's expensive. Especially, and it's a brand new car. I mean, this is like a 2018 car. So yeah. imagine buying a brand new car. You spend, I don't know how much these things are. They're probably like $100,000. You probably. drive it right to the racetrack, and you just spit all the parts on the racetrack. Mm. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Blame the racetrack. I mean, That's if you have, silly. If you have however much money it is to spend on these cars, I don't know. It's probably not too big of a deal to have the dealership warranty the differential. Yeah. I don't know. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. It's a cool story, Matt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, headline number two. 2020 BMW X3 M and X4 M make up to 503 horsepower. And the base versions make 473. That's not bad. Here's the story. By the way, this is from Motor Trend. 
Mm -hmm. I've heard of them. Pretty big deal. Well, they're finally here. After months of spy shots and rumors, BMW has officially revealed the 2020 X3M as well as the X4M with identical specs. And for the first time on any BMW's crossovers, you'll be able to order a competition version with even more power. Under the hood, BMW used a 3-liter twin-turbo inline-six that makes 473 horsepower and 442 foot-pounds of torque. That's enough power to make a run from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds on your way to a top speed of 174 miles per hour. Upgrade to the competition and you get 503 horsepower and a top speed of 177, which is only 3 miles an hour more, which is kind of weird, <sighs> and 0 to 60 time of 4 seconds. You'll have to add the additional M driver's package if you want to hit those top speeds, though. Otherwise, the BMW limits you at 155. <sighs> Who wants to go that slow? Around back, you'll find a quad exhaust with an electronically controlled multi-mode exhaust that BMW promises will reduce back pressure and deliver a stirring soundtrack. Hmm. So here's the thing. Why would they limit you at 155? I mean, if they're going to... I don't know. Like, if you're going to be limited, wouldn't it be like 85 miles an hour and not like 155? Like, what's <laughs> the difference between 155 and 177. I don't know. That seems kind of crazy, right? It's kind of silly. Okay, there's a couple weird things about this. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's an SUV. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, crossover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, a 503 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, 177 mile per hour SUV is crazy. It reminds me of the, uh, the Grand Cherokee SRT8 with the, like, supercharged V8 in it. It has, like, a billion horsepower and does, like, a million miles an hour. It's sort of like I that. I think but those the... numbers are a little... No, they're legit. Uh, Trust me. Okay. You can Google that. You got the computer, just Google it. It's right. Yeah, I'm not even going to Google that. So, yeah, this is, like, BMW's version of that, I think, where it's just basically hell on wheels. I'm sure it costs, like, a billion dollars, too. But here's where it matters. Where does it matter, Jeremy? Because Toyota Supras, the new Toyota Supra that the yeah. whole world is talking about... Yeah are basically built on a BMW platform. And if you can get 503 horsepower out of an inline six mm -hmm. that is in a BMW SUV, yeah. that means you could take that engine, uh -huh. stuff it in a Supra, oh boy. and now you have a twin turbo, inline six, 503 horsepower stock Toyota Supra, which is really what everybody wants anyways. Nobody's buying a Supra to go slow. <laughs> they're, they're paying no? 70 grand to go fast. And if they're going to go fast, you might as well have this twin turbo inline six in your sure. car. Why not? None of this matters. All that matters is the 503 horsepower engine hmm. and people are going to put it in Supras. So <laughs> that's my Demanding story. that they're going to put it in Supras. Yeah, people need it in the Supra. The right. Supra is, yeah, BMW, pretty cool. You know, yeah. four second SUV, that's pretty fast. But yeah, Supras, that's what we're talking about, Matt. I it's think not it's, part, it's not on this. I think it's a Supra good idea. Wow. Jeremy. You always fit one in every time. Yep. I'm impressed. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. Yeah. Do you notice anything different about this recording today? Uh, besides no. the three cameras oh, that are staring at us? Look at these. Yeah. Well, besides that, Jeremy, take a look right here. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing that we record with, right? Yeah. Do you know what's what's holding it? Is that a cell phone holder? That is a cell phone holder. Wow. Yeah. I got it from 1AAuto.com. And guess Ooh. what? I didn't really need to hold my cell phone with it. I needed to hold this thing. Hold your Zoom. And it worked perfectly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you're into the podcast world, you mm -hmm. could get one of these cell phone holders and stick it to your table, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. Because it's actually holding pretty good. Yeah. You stick it on your windshield, on your dash, whatever you need. Stick it to your table. 1A Auto is quality auto parts and thousands of how-to videos to walk you through your install, and you can get your tools and accessories there, too. Go there. 1AAuto.com. Headline number three, Jeremy. Ford issued a separate recall for 28,200 2017 to 2019 Lincoln Continentals with faulty door latches. Uh-oh. It also is recalling roughly 4,350 2019 Mustangs, Lincoln Navigators, and Lincoln Nautilus with instrument panel clusters that might fail to turn on. Mm. In both cases, Ford said it was unaware of any injuries related to the defects. So if you own one of these... Keep an eye on your mailbox. Yep. Because you're going to get a recall notice, mm -hmm. and you're going to want to get it fixed. Am I right? You're right. And that about wraps up our Engine Noise Podcast, Car News and Coffee. Engine Noise Podcast, Car News and Coffee is brought to you by 1AAuto.com. Quality auto parts and thousands of how-to videos that walk you through your install. Be sure to tune in to Engine Noise Podcast on the 1st and 15th of every month. And until then, have a little car news with your coffee. Sure. Why not, right? Yeah, you can have water, too. Don't tell them what to yeah. do. Yeah. Because you guys can 
do whatever you want. Have some soda. Soda pop? Soda pop. Coca-Cola Classic, maybe? You could do a, a Suds, a Beers. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, you can do some Dunkin's. Or, uh, Starbucks? What are the other ones? Uh, gourmet. Yep. Big shout out to Gourmet. Gourmet. We're looking for sponsors. We do love Gourmet Coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, or you could just uh, do some repairs on your car. Yeah. Do it yourself. Put some wooden wheels on your car. Do some burnouts with your wooden wheels. Why not? Why don't you go slide down a slide with a cookie with a tray? Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. The other thing that you can do on a slide is get some wax paper. That probably works good on all slides. Ah, boy. Where the cookie sheet is only got uh, a metal slide. I don't think we should be telling people to do this, Jeremy. Wax paper will get you down a, a slide very quickly. Exciting. Okay. Lawyers. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> get yourself a lawyer. <laughs> get yourself a lawyer. <laughs> Tell people to do dangerous things. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't slide down slides. They're dangerous. Terrifying. Well, you can slide down a slide. Just no, don't. Terrifying. Don't. Forget it. And uh, thanks for listening. Especially if you're watching on uh, on the cameras. Because it's our yeah. first one. 